Today, I'm gonna to show you how to pair a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One wireless controller to your Mac. But before I do, take a moment and subscribe to our channel. We really like making these how-to videos for you, but sometimes it's a little lonely here in Pat's Pad. That might have to do with the fact that I don't have a kitchen, a bedroom, or bathroom. I've said too much. All right, let's talk about pairing these controllers to your computer. It couldn't be easier. You don't need to download drivers. You don't need a special dongle. It just works. I got it to work with the PlayStation 4 wireless controller, AKA the DualShock 4 wireless controller from Sony, as well as the Xbox One S controller and the Xbox One X controller. You're gonna be able to get this to work with any Xbox One wireless controller made after 2016. But I need to address something quickly. Uh, Charlie, can we get the I was wrong zoom going? Yeah, so I showed you a few videos back how to pair these controllers to your iPhone, and I said this. There's no word if PS4 and Xbox One controller support will be added to the Mac. But to quote James Brown, please, 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 Apple, add that. that awesome. Yeah, the reason we haven't heard back from Apple is because it already works with the Mac, so <laughs> a little awkward there. My words from that video still haunt me to this day. There's no word if PS4 and Xbox One controller support will be added to the Mac. But to quote James Brown, please, 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 add that. I was wrong. Sorry. So let's pair some controllers. Let's start with pairing the PlayStation 4 controller. All right, the first thing you want to do is press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button to put the controller into pairing mode. Now you're gonna to go to your Mac and open up Bluetooth settings from your menu bar or system preferences. From there, look for wireless controller to pop up and then click the connect button. And that's it. To quote Buddy Holly, it's so easy to pair a PlayStation 4 controller with a Mac. <laughs> And now let's do the Xbox One controller. The first thing you wanna do is turn it on and then push and hold the pairing button until the Xbox One logo blinks rapidly. Do, 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 do. Now go to Bluetooth settings on your Mac and look for Xbox wireless controller to pop up in the list and click the connect button. And it's really that easy. If you're having trouble connecting either controller to your Mac, Make sure that you're far away from your console because sometimes the signals, they just, uh, <laughs> they don't like each other. Also make sure the batteries are charged up on both your Mac, if you're on a laptop, like a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, and on the controller itself. Otherwise, you should be good to go. Hey, that's all the pairing I have for you today. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut.